So can a holy God really be around evil? Wouldn't that make him unholy? So I'm Steve Cohen with Now Found, and you are never too lost to be found. So I remember a really disturbing sign that I read one day, but I need you to hang on till the end for us to talk about that. So about this God and him being holy and him being able to be around evil. Um, so many people actually struggle with this concept, but I would like to reframe this question and ask how can God not be around evil? So we see all throughout scripture that God is omnipotent. He possesses and can control and or even harness all of the power in existence. What about omniscient? He knows all of the knowledge available. You know, there are a lot of people in this world that actually approach their life thinking they are omniscient. You may have actually met one of them. I personally was one of those people for 20 plus years. But this last one is probably the most important when it comes to answering this question for us. God is omnipresent. So what does that mean? It means that he is everywhere. So if he is everywhere, how could he not be around evil? So hang on here, because we're gonna talk about what scripture says. So we're gonna take a look at this. Some people, when this topic comes up, like to refer back to the book of Habakkuk. that says that his, his eyes are too pure to see evil, and he, he cannot look upon the affliction that, that's actually occurring in this world. So how could he then actually be around evil, right? That's a great point. But we also see all throughout scripture where God is with evil. He talked to Satan in the garden. Think about that. That's, I would say Satan's evil. God spoke to Satan before and during Job's affliction. Evil. Yeshua, uh, also known as Jesus for kind of the Western culture, um, was tempted by Satan. He had a 40-day fast, and then he moves into this place of temptation by Satan. He actually had conversations with him. He was taken to the top of the, the, these mountains and out in these, out in these different places with Satan. Evil. So what's insane is I was influenced by this same evil that we're talking about, and God came and found me. It's not like we really had to look very hard because he's everywhere. I, we, we have to actually look at that. We have to understand that in this concept of omnipresence, there's not a place we can hide from him. You know, he, the, the scripture talks about God leaving the 99 to go find the one. Where was that one? Probably somewhere evil. Finding the lost coin. Now that one's probably in the darkness, but the darkness also symbolizes what? Evil. And then again, even more, this this wonderful encounter that we see that he, he pursues the lost, also known as the prodigal son, who was caught up in evil. And while this is incredibly great, you, I, you don't want to miss this. This is one of the most important parts, because remember, you are never too lost to be found. Yeshua was, he actually spoke to demon-possessed people, and he cast those demons out. He, he healed the sick not by from some far off distant thing, he touched them. He spoke to death multiple times and the person that was dead came back to life. So don't miss this next part though. Okay, we see this even further depth that he's willing to go is the fact that he died on a cross for us. He sacrificed himself and then he descended to hell. But he didn't just descend to hell to descend to hell. He went there to conquer evil. God can be in the presence of evil. He's willing to actually do that. He loves you. He's willing to put himself in the presence of that to in whatever you're caught up in, whatever we're caught up in. But here's the difference between these two understandings of the scripture. Light cannot be influenced by darkness. Think about it. Try this out for yourself. Turn on a flashlight and turn off all the lights around you. The flashlight permeates the darkness. The light simply isn't influenced. And maybe even better yet, think about this uh, on a grander scale. Let's think about our sun. It sits in a vast expanse of darkness, yet it illuminates everything around it. It can be seen for millions and millions of light years. Oh, and by the way, that disturbing sign I talked about, I know I left you on a cliffhanger. I remember walking into a gas station bathroom one time and it read, watch what you do here because God is here watching you. That kind of freaked me out a little bit. I really didn't want to actually go there. I kind of, I think I may have actually gone down the street, but please 
If you feel lost and you want to know how to establish a relationship, to submit yourself to Yeshua or Jesus as Lord and Messiah, click the link in the description below. You're not alone. He's right there next to you, and he's never going to leave you. He's never going to forsake you. And remember, you are never too lost to be found. For more content about how you can live in a closer, more intimate relationship with God, subscribe or follow now and type hashtag never too lost in the comments.